Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at what's called concatenating strings. Now basically what this means is taking one string and adding another string to it. And when you do this, it's stored in another variable. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a concatenate demo. So we'll go ahead and go to new project. We will name this string concatenate and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Make sure you have selected a console application. Now here is module one. Let's go ahead and zoom in here a bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to create a string. So dim user string as string and we'll go ahead and set that equal to nothing because we're gonna have them type in a string now what we're going to do is we're going to create another string that will be stored in our program. So dim program string as string and we'll just set that equal to something like um, catfish. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user to enter in a string. So we'll do console dot write line type anything you want so now what we're going to do is we're going to get what they typed so user string equals console dot read line so now what we're going to do is we're going to take their user string and add program string to it so but first we're going to print out what they type so console dot write line user string and now what we're going to do is we're going to add program string to it so user string equals user string plus program string so basically what this does is it takes user string and adds program string to it and it makes it all one word now let's go ahead not one word one string so let's go ahead and add a space here in catfish so it will you will be able to see the space in there and now what we're going to do is we're going to print out user string again. And then we'll just have the program pause and wait for us to press enter by using console.readline. And now we'll just run it and it'll say type anything you want. So if we type in uh, snowboarding, go ahead and press enter, it'll say snowboarding and then it'll say snowboarding which is what the user entered and then it adds program string to that now what we can do is we can come back in here and we can add more strings to this now these strings don't have to be variables we can go ahead and add um, anything we want by enclosing it in quotes so we'll just type um, fishing so now what it's going to do is it's going to take what they typed add catfish and then add fishing now we can also use this which is what we've used in several other tutorials we can use the and sign inside of our console.write line statement to add another string to it so I'll just type hello youtube what this does is it takes user string and adds hello youtube to it for the time being and then it doesn't save uh, hello youtube it's just there when this console.write line is called and then it disappears So let's go ahead and run this now it'll say type anything you want so I'll just type in Sam it shows us what we originally typed and it says Sam, Sam catfish fishing hello YouTube so you can do this uh, any way you want you could even add uh, another string right here and um, concatenate as much as you want in the string but remember if you use the and sign inside of the arguments for console.write line this is going to be discarded as soon as you're done with this statement or as soon as the program's done with this statement so um, this is a very simple concept but I wanted to teach you guys that and um, it should be easy for you to understand and once you understand that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial